Okay, welcome to Codeo Challenge 5.5 Variable Length Records. And in this Codeo Challenge, there will be a pipe delimited file P. It is organized with three fields on each line first name, last name, and birth day. You can see that they're delimited with the pipe. Search for the first name and the last name, replace the birthday with the B, write the file back out in the same pipe delimited format. <clears throat> and what they're wanting us to do is create functions to uh, help uh, to uh, build this program. And the first function they're having us create is the load the two-dimensional array from the file. So let's start by creating the very first function. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so for this function, first function we're going to open the, um, the file and um, this is the name of the file, file path. Here. So we're going to open the file path and we're going to use the with, uh, with open file. So we're going to say with open. And then we're going to say file path. And then we're going to open it in a read only. So we're going to use our R there. And then we're going to name this, uh, what we're creating, we're going to name it as a read file. So let's say as read file. Now, <clears throat> one thing to keep in mind when you use this with open to open up a file, you do not have to use the close file uh, statement at the end because uh, when you use the with open, it automatically closes that file. So I just wanted to point that out. Using that with, you don't have to use a close file at the end, it close automatically. Okay. <laughs> The next thing we're going to do is we're going to say current lines equals, and then we're going to use our read file. We're going to use the dot read method. And when you use the dot read method, you're reading the entire f file. You're not reading just one line or a few characters. You're reading the entire file. So using the dot read is reading the entire file. And then the next thing we'll do after we read this file, we're going to separate the file into lines. And there's a couple ways to do that. I'm going to show you both methods. Um, the one I'm going to use here is going to be called the dot split lines method. So that's how you would split that file into separate lines. Um, you could also, you may see uh, when you're Googling, you may see that people also use the dot split and then they just use the um, the new line here, but uh, this does the exact same thing as this, and uh, I'm just going to use the uh, split lines method. But that's that's another way to uh, let me put the T in there. That's another way to split lines. You can also use this dot split with the backslash. Uh, backslash in there. So, okay, so now we've we've opened the file 
We're reading the file and we're splitting that file into separate lines. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create our uh, 2D array. And so we're going to say, we're going to call it uh, splitted list. And so we're going to create our list. And we're going to separate each we're going to separate each, we're creating an array, and so we're going to separate each uh, word on each line into our list. And as you remember, the list that we were given was a pipe delimited list, and so that's what we're going to use to find uh, the, the word separations. So we're going to say word dot split and we're using the pipe so that's the delimiter the pipe and so also when, when you uh, use this pipe the pipe gets removed from the list so if, if you were looking at a csv file a comma separated uh, file and you put a comma here it would remove the comma as it uh, created your list. So that's just one example. The character inside your split is removed while creating your list. Okay, so once you've uh, identified how you're, you're splitting it, how you're, you're choosing your splits to create your list, and then you just say for word in current lines and so with this right here you've you've, you've taken each uh, you've taken each line in the file and split it with the split lines method and then here you're taking each word delimited by the pipe and you're separating each word into your 2d, 2D array or two-dimensional array or list. Okay, then after you've done that, then you return and that needs to be over here. You return you split it this. And so that's how you've created the return state that ends the uh, ends your function. And so that's how you created the function load to the array from the file. Okay, for this second function, we find index function that we search the 2D array for records. For first name, last name. Turn the index of the record to negative one and no record exists. So let's create our function uh, find index. Okay, so we're going to say for item in records. If now we're checking if the first name and last name here, it says check for the first name and last name. So we're saying if first name equals item zero. And last name equals item one. And 
my charm. Records. Dot index. Dot freedom. Okay, so it will go, it will loop through each item on the list, checking to see if item zero is a match to the first name and item one is a match to the last name. It will, re, it will return records.index and it will, if, if, it, if it matches, then it returns. And if it doesn't match, it will return a negative one. So here you have searches the 2D array records for first name, last name, returns the index of the record, or negative one if no record exists. So this way we're looping through, it will return the, the uh, records. That's what this uh, return statement is for, as long as it's finding the first name and last name. Once it stops finding the first name and last name, it will return a negative one. Okay, let's go on to the next uh, function they want us to create. Set birthday. Okay, set the birthday of the record at the given index. Okay, so let's create our function for setting the birthday. Okay, for this uh, birthday uh, function, all we're going to do is say records index to equals new birthday. Copy that. Okay, and so what this is saying is go through your records. The index is the row. So for each row, go to column two, which is the location of the birthday and assign it the new birthday. So this is just saying go through each record, each line, uh, go through each row, column two, and assign it the new birthday. All right, so let's go down to the make text from 2D array function. And the first thing we're want, wanting to do for this is create our initialize our out, output records of variable. So we'll just say output records equals, and we'll just use an empty string. And then we'll initialize our index and we'll just initialize that at zero. And then we're going to create a while loop. We're going to say while our index is less than length of records. records and join the pipe 
using the dot join. for each row. And if I is not equal to length of records, minus one output records to a new line And keep incrementing by one as you go through the record, and then return output. records okay so that's created our function make text from 2d array we've created the variable output records with an empty string we are creating our counter for the index starting at zero and while our index is less than the total length of records we will continue putting this um, uh, pipe delimiter and join each record with that. And as long as we don't equal negative one, we'll continue cycling through the loop, um, at incrementing by one each time. So let's move on to the bottom half of this. Okay, so when you get down here, what we need to do is open the output file, output file in the write mode. And so we're going to say out file equals open file p. with the write method, uh, mode, in the write mode, and then we're going to say out file write to output so that we are writing the modified string to the uh, text file. And we'll go over here and we will check it. And it looks like it all passed. So this is how you complete the uh, 5.5 challenge variable length records. And uh, please subscribe as always. Please like the video. And if you guys have any uh, comments or questions, I'll always provide my email in the video, so feel free to email me. Thank you for watching.